So the virus isn't called COVID-19. The disease is called COVID-19. Um, and it stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019. Um, so we haven't missed the previous 18 COVIDs. Um, this just means that it was the disease that uh, emerged in 2019. So there are actually lots and lots of coronaviruses. It's a huge family of viruses. Um, and there are several that cause disease in humans. Um, some of them cause just like the common cold. Um, and they're quite different. So SARS was uh, quite infectious. Um, but was a able to be stopped quite uh, early. Uh, MERS is much less infectious, but much more deadly. So a zoonotic virus is basically a virus that's come from animals. So it's spilled over into humans from an animal of some sort. Um, and we don't know where this particular uh, virus has come from. So it's closely related to coronaviruses that are found in bats. Um, but what we know with uh, SARS and MERS is that they came probably from bats, but via another animal. So in the case of SARS, that was civet cats. Um, in the case of MERS, it looks like camels are um, another vector. We don't know what that is yet for um, COVID-19. So the best way to think of um, uh, an infectious disease maybe is to think of it as like holding a handful of dice. And so when you throw that dice, um, you know, you get a set of numbers. And imagine each dice is uh, like a different um, thing to do with the virus or the disease itself. So we've got how it transmits, uh, what kind of disease it causes, um, and then where it emerges and when. And so with COVID-19, we've kind of thrown almost the worst set of numbers because what we have is a virus that emerged at a time of the year um, uh, in, a, in, a, in a part of the world where people were moving around a lot. So it emerged around Chinese New Year. So perhaps if this had emerged at a different time of year in a different part of the world, um, it would have played out quite differently. But because also this virus uh, transmits before people realize they have, um, you know, have the infection, it means that you know, the genie was basically released before we even really realized it. The, the sad thing is that the more people get a disease, the more you learn about it. Um, and actually here in New Zealand, we've, we're in a quite privileged position where because we don't have community spread, you know, every outbreak that we have allows us to learn something new about the virus that we can tell that other countries can't because they have such you know, widespread cases.